Hey everyone, welcome to Starburst, your official guide to all that is celebrity. A lot's been hidden happening over the past few weeks to start off the show and to know what's been happening, we'll have to start it off with the headlines, meaning the first look and it is right now. Today on Starburst, our cover story of the royal wedding, Kate Middleton weds to Prince Williams. Robin Williams has stepped down from the big screen to take part in Broadway's and Elton John to open the Tribeca Film Festival. The fun-filled Nickelodeon Kids Choice Award 2011 were unveiled in spectacular style in Los Angeles. Along with that, a review of the latest installment of Pirates of the Caribbean franchise on The Stranger Tide included on today's show. So there you have it, we are going to be talking about the Tribeca Film Festival and a bit about Robin Williams. Also we've got Nickelodeon Kids Choice Award 2011 lined up and after much anticipation we will be reviewing Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tide on this edition. But first, our cover story of the long-awaited royal wedding. Finally we get to talk about it and it surely is a great moment for British Empire. So let's take a look. I've been here for two and a half centuries waiting for this. <laughs> it's the wedding of the year and everyone's been waiting for it's it. It's part of our heritage, it's, it's part of our country, it's, uh, it's all about us. Absolutely oh, fantastic. Oh, feel the rhythm, feel the ride, get together, it's wedding time. A long list of guests was to be expected at the wedding. David and Victoria topped the A-list when it came to who was invited to see Duke and Duchess of Cambridge tie the knot. Other guests included British television presenter Tara Palmer Tomkinson, musician, singer, songwriter Alton John with David Furnish, Lady Diana's brother, L. Spencer, the Mayor of London, Loris Johnson, John Burke, the Speaker of the House of Commons, a TV presenter, Ben Fogel, the First Minister of Scotland, Alex Salmond. The ex-Prime Minister of UK, Mr. John Major and Australia's Prime Minister, Julia Gillard. Sky blue was the colour of choice for Kate Middleton's mom, Carol. She arrived at the Abbey about 40 minutes before her daughter, Kate. The mother of the bride was accompanied into the Abbey by her son, 23-year-old James Middleton, who will be giving the reading at the service. Wedding and food go together like husband and wife. One firm has taken the job to bake very British biscuits for the royal day. Workers at the luxury swashbuckling Biscuitier Biscuit Lab are hard at work preparing handmade hand eye snacks. We had uh, quite a lot of uh, discussion about what would be in the ultimate royal wedding tin of biscuits. Um, and quite a lot of experimentation. Some of the biscuits are harder to make than others. It's quite hard actually to make a biscuit of the ring, fully enough, getting it sort of sparkling enough. Um, but we've put in there, we've put in his and hers crowns, um, we've also got a beautiful wedding cake and um, some, uh, our version of the wedding dress and some lovely uh, stacked um, bride's shoes as well, as well as a lot of sort of British, you know, flags and things as well. <laughs> oh, very cool. Now back to the wedding. The first appearance of Kate in her amazing Alexander McQueen wedding gown was pretty. She's the type of a girl who always let her clothes do the talking and the elegant dress by McQueen's new designer Sarah Burton is her ultimate statement. With a simple ivory skirt and borders embellished lace floral detail and as a symbol of her commitment to Britain, her dress lace design in corporate rose, dizzle daffodils and shamrock, the full floral emblems of United Kingdom. The death of the British designer Alexander McQueen rocked the fashion world in 2010 and Kate's choice to wear his label in front of the world is a reminder of his tragic loss but also a touching celebration of his work. On the other hand, William chose to wear the famous scarlet tunic of the Irish car to his wedding rather than his blue RF uniform as many initially thought he would. Complimenting his stunning wife looked incredibly smart and dapper, accessorizing his outfit with a golden crimson slash as well as the Gautier Slash, Golden Jubilee Medal and Royal Air Force Wing as a nod to Air Force in which he serves. And Brother Harry, well, as newly promoted captain in the Household Cavalry's Blues and Royals wore the uniform of his new rank. Just before the ceremony, Prince William made a joke with his father-in-law before the start of the service by saying, we were supposed to have a small family affair. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here in the sight of God and in the face of this congregation to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony.
I, William Arthur Philip Louis. I, William Arthur Philip Louis. Take thee, Catherine Elizabeth. Take thee, Catherine Elizabeth. To my wedded wife. To my wedded wife. I, Catherine Elizabeth. I, Catherine Elizabeth. Take thee, William Arthur Philip Louis. Take thee, William Arthur Philip Louis. To my wedded husband. To my wedded husband. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. And of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Prince William and Kate Milton were announced man and wife at 11.17. The new Duke and Duchess of Cambridge smile at guests as they walk hand in hand out of the Abbey. The people cheered as newly married couple emerged. Prince William now a Duke and a husband. Kate Milton, now a princess, the Duchess of Cambridge, wife and future queen. Upon leaving the church, the newlywed boarded the 1902 state Lundell to begin their journey back to Buckingham Palace. Kate Middleton and Prince William lived happily ever after. But that's not the end of the story though. Stories like this make me feel like we're living in a fairy tale world where everything is so perfect or at least there's no harm in thinking about a perfect world. Still more to come on this show. You guys stay put. I'll be right back as soon as I can.